Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are looking at vehicles that you can get on finance. So these are category A vehicles. So specifically, we are looking at uh, people who earn between 10K and above. Or if you are looking to spend maybe 2K to about 3.5 per month on a vehicle, then watch this one up until the end. So this is a 2014 Toyota Etios 1.5. This one monthly installment is 2.3 thousand uh, so it falls into that category so if you don't want to spend more than that you can definitely consider this one and also this one i think it will also be suitable for somebody who is wanting maybe to do like uber business i think this will be good uh, vehicle but obviously you have to research in terms of insurance and all that so that you can be able to calculate your monthly expenses uh, carefully and then uh, just having a walk around of this vehicle around this vehicle you can see that it is uh, quite neat i like the fact that it's a sedan so if you are into uber you will have that big boot for you to be carrying obviously your passenger's luggage overall the vehicle itself there aren't any scratches or any dents that are visible especially on this side only a minor uh, scratches that i saw on the front but uh, really it is something which is okay i think uh the other thing that they listed on this one uh it has got a number of uh, issues but minor ones are like it has a cracked windscreen and then both tires uh for the back they are smooth so they need to be replaced and then uh, the rear light as well it uh, the lens is cracked so that's why there is that green sticker so you need to fix that but the interior of the vehicle it is okay you can see that it is uh, clean and then also checking on the back side as well it is clean so if you are looking for a good a startup vehicle that you can get on finance put this one on your list and then moving on to the second vehicle for the day uber drivers or bolt drivers i'm not yet done with you so here is another great option as well for you to consider so remember if you're financing a vehicle from we buy cars it needs to be a category a and so is this one so this is a 2019 nissan almera 1.5 it is a category a it has traveled 75,000 kilometers and you can get it for 3049 per month which is uh, still okay and this one i went through the decra report there are no issues at all that are listed on this vehicle it is a good uh, vehicle should you go for it the only thing that they noted there is that uh, the service history it's unknown so when you buy this vehicle make sure that you get it uh, checked out so that you don't get any surprises after all but overall the exterior of the vehicle it is very nice you can see on this side on this left side of the vehicle it is very neat no scratches or any dents and then at the back you can see as well it's neat and then you also have got some uh, sensors as well so if you are driving into tight spaces you know that you won't uh, crash into them and then you've got that large boot as well if you want to be carrying uh, people and their luggages uh, rather luggage is only at the back and then uh, you should be good to go and then uh, this side on the driver side it is okay as well uh, no scratches or any dents that were visible i must say guys uh, this is one of the cleanest uh, vehicles that i could see and also this is a fairly a low risk vehicle i haven't uh, really had any uh, theft cases and uh, like it's high in demand you can see as well they just got a golden sticker meaning it was better maintained and then as well it's an automatic because if you're on the road most of the time you also want an automatic so you don't have to change gears all the time the interior of this vehicle it is also nice as well and then moving on to vehicle number three for the day if you're looking for something reputable or something that is very reliable then i look no further here we've got the toyota those lights they just need to be brought back to life a bit of cleaning will definitely help so this is a 2013 toyota corolla 2 liter exclusive it is a category a it has traveled 187,000 kilometers monthly installment there we are looking at 2776 which is uh, fairly okay so yeah i went through the decra report on this one it doesn't have any issues whatsoever so this side it is a uh, very clean you can see there the view mirror very neat and then also that integrated indicator that's me there trying to open the vehicle unfortunately it was locked uh, but uh, nonetheless this side it is okay looking at the back it is a uh, very neat i like the fact that it's a sedan and you've got that big boot and then also as an added advantage at the bottom there you can see you've got a tow hitch so if you want to pull a trailer you are sorted there and then there you have it corolla two liter so this is 
actually a good uh, vehicle. Uh, some might be skeptic that it has traveled quite a bit, but uh, if it was uh, serviced uh, quite well, then you shouldn't have any problem. And also the good thing is on the Decra report, they did note that it, the service history is complete and up to date. So definitely put this one on your list. Uh, and then this is the front of the vehicle everything it really checks out it doesn't have any dents or any scratches or whatsoever and then you've got that golden sticker meaning that this vehicle has been better maintained as evidenced obviously with uh, that uh, service history and all that and then that's the interior of the vehicle we've got leather seats they are still okay they don't show any signs of wear and tear or any damage so yeah guys uh, let me know what you think about this one Moving on to vehicle number four. So if you are a first time buyer or if you don't want to spend anything more than 3k per month on a vehicle or if you are earning somewhere between 10k or a minimum of 10k then this one you can put it on your list as well. So this is a 2018 Renault Quid one liter dynamic so it has uh, traveled uh, 72,000 kilometers and the monthly installment there is 2194 so it will be a very good uh, vehicle for you especially if you are a first time buyer because uh, this is a very low risk vehicle and it is also light on fuel and then checking out at uh, this particular vehicle you can see there it has a golden sticker it doesn't have any issues at all it's a category a so if you buy this one you know that you're getting uh, a vehicle vehicle that has a full service uh, history and also the it is up to date so you won't have any problems at all so now checking just are uh, doing a walk around of this vehicle you can see everything is neat you can see there are your tires uh, they're still in good condition you don't have to buy those and then looking at the back uh, it is quite neat as well no scratches or any dents are uh, that are visible the color is uh, still okay so yeah if you are in the market and if you are a big fan definitely put this one on your list and then uh, check out uh, those wheels once again i really like uh, how uh, this vehicle uh, looks personally i've driven uh, this particular vehicle and it is uh, quite easy to drive and then we're just gonna show you inside that's the interior of uh, this vehicle quite nice as well so yeah if you want a peace of mind definitely put this one uh, go and test drive it and then if you like it go for it so yeah guys uh, let me know what you think if you are in, in the market would you buy this quid And then moving on to vehicle number five for the day so if you're still watching please take a moment and like this video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe we are officially on our way to 5k subscribers by end of year so i would really appreciate your support so if you're in the market for an suv here is one for you to put on your list so this is a 2015 gw mh5 it's a category a it has done 134,000 kilometers monthly installment there is 2594 which is quite reasonable for an SUV. So yeah, we're gonna just have a walk around of this one. We can see this side, it is okay. You can see the H5 and then you've got your uh, view mirror with an indicate, integrated indicator there. Everything else here, it is side, it is okay. Only that part, I'm not sure if it is a design or maybe something else happened there. But overall, uh, this side, it doesn't have too many scratches or any dents. And then checking out this back side as well, it is okay. You can see that it doesn't have any too many scratches or any dents. And then you even also have got that uh, toy it. So if you want to connect a trailer, you know that you are sorted. So overall, guys, I think it is a good vehicle. There you can have it, 2-liter VGT. So yeah, uh, first time or actually to see this vehicle. Uh, I don't know, guys, if any of you maybe have come across this vehicle or if you own this vehicle, please let us know of your ownership um, experience. But overall, from the looks of this one, it really looks okay. It looks like the vehicle, it is intact. Uh, but also on the Decra report, they noted that it is an engine oil leak. So you might have to definitely fix that. And then the right front apple joint is also torn. The dust cover is torn. So you also have to fix that. And then you can see that it is a green sticker. And then uh, this is the interior of the vehicle. It has a leather seats, which is also a good thing. And then it's an automatic, by the way. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know, would you put this one on your list? 
And then moving on to vehicle number six for the day. So if you are looking to get into a mid SUV and uh, don't want to pay more than 3.5K per month, here is one for you to put on your list. And this is also kind of a low risk vehicle. So this is a 2016 Opel Mocha X. A 1.40 Cosmo. I wonder if it was named after Cosmo City. It's a category A. It has done 95,000 kilometers and monthly installment is 3,340. So yeah, if you're in the market, definitely put this one on your short list. So this side, it is okay. It doesn't have any scratches or any dents that are visible. It is uh, very neat. And then it also has those uh, tinted windows, uh, obviously, which makes it uh, much even neater. And then uh, checking out the back side, it is okay. Some of those lights, they remind me of a, is it a Nissan Murano. Uh, it also has those kind of lights. And also, is it the Nissan Juke? I think maybe the front of it. Uh, but overall, I think it is okay. And then at the back, it has a toy each. And then now moving on towards uh, this driver's side, uh, it looks okay. Everything really does um, checks out. It doesn't have any scratches or any dents that are visible. And then now we're just going to check at uh, this front side as well. You can see it is okay as well. I'm not sure if the bonnet is, clo is properly closed there or maybe there is an issue there. But nonetheless, it is a golden sticker, meaning it's a category A. So check the Decra report as well. It doesn't have any issues whatsoever. That is the interior of the vehicle. The leather seats are still okay. There are no signs of uh, worn or any damage. So yeah, if you want a mid SUV, definitely put this one on your list. And then moving on to the next vehicle for the day. So if you're still interested in an SUV, uh, so we've got a Renault Duster for you to consider. This is one of the vehicle that is uh, actually underrated here in SA. Personally, I think it is a great vehicle. So this is a 2016 Renault Duster 1.5. It's a category eight, has traveled 125,000 kilometers. Monthly installment, you're looking at 2,558, which is actually reasonable for an SUV. And then checking out this side, it is okay. There are no signs of scratches or any dents. Uh, it really looks neat. The only thing that I could notice on this one is uh, the tires. Actually, they also listed on the Decra report that they need to be changed. You can see that they are a bit uh, smooth, so definitely you need to invest into new tires. But overall, the vehicle, it is nice. You can see on the back side here, everything checks out. It doesn't have any scratches or any dents. The downside may be that it doesn't have a proper tow hitch, uh, considering that uh, this is an SUV. Maybe you might want to pull uh, stuff, and then as you can see there, with four-wheel drive. So definitely that would uh, be handy if it had a tow hitch. And then checking out this side as well, it is okay. I'm not really a big fan of those uh, handles, door handles. I think they should have just done the same uh, color as the uh, color of the vehicle which was going to make the vehicle actually look much much nicer but overall i think it is okay and then you can see there it has a green sticker so yeah meaning that you just have to buy new tires and then you're good to go and then that's the interior of the vehicle no signs of damage they are still okay so yeah guys if you've made it this far thank you for watching i salute you i'll see you in the next video cheers for now enjoy the rest of the video Perfect.